yes, 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 yes. We officially begin our journey into the great Elton John. Know so much about him. Um, well, let me not say I know so much about him. I don't know a lot about him. I know he's a legend. I know he's an icon. I know he's been doing it in the music industry forever. Um, I know he's synonymous with music. You know what I mean? But as I say all of that, I don't know a lot of his music. <laughs> I do not know a lot of his music. Um, and I don't know much of his story. You know, I know, again, I know that he's a legend and I know of him, but I don't know him. You know what I mean? So we officially begin our journey and I'm so excited. We start with Rocket Man, which <clears throat> I know that this is a, a big favorite i know this is one of his biggest songs never heard it at least to my knowledge um but every, anytime i see anytime you type in rocket or rock in itunes or any music platform like rocket man shows up so i know it's a big hit and it got over 100 million views on youtube so i know it's a big hit but we're gonna do a quick research just a quick one because i know it's a lot for him considering he is who he is. So I won't bore y'all with this, um, but I do want to get a little bit of research. So here we go. He's a singer, pianist, and composer, acclaimed by critics and musicians, particularly for his work during the 1970s and for his lasting impact on the music industry. His music, showmanship, have had a significant impact on popular music. Okay. His songwriting partnership with lyricist Bernie Toppin is one of the most successful in history. Uh, was raised in a suburb in London where he learned to play piano at an early age, winning a scholarship at the Royal Academy of Music where he studied for five years. Do, 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 do. In, six, in 1969, released his debut album, Empty Sky, and a, a year later formed the Elton John Band and also released his first hit single, Your Song. John's critical success was at, it, was at its peak Excuse me, in the 1970s when he released a string of high-charting albums both in the U.S. and U.K. Okay, okay. Outside of music, John is an HIV and AIDS charity fundraiser he is a charity fundraiser. Oh, okay. I understand. I, I got it. And has been involved in the fight against AIDS since the 1980s. He established the Elton John AIDS Foundation in 1992, which has raised over 300 million, whatever the currency is in London. I always forget. Is it pounds? No, it's not pounds. Oh, uh, but they, ra <clears throat> they raised over 300 million of it, which is incredible. Um, uh, he began hosting his annual AIDS Foundation Academy Awards party, which has since become one of the highest profile Oscar parties in Hollywood film, uh, in the Hollywood film industry. Gotcha. Uh, in 2005, he entered a civil partnership with his long-term partner, the Canadian filmmaker, David, David Furnish. They married in 2014 when same-sex marriage became legal in England and Wales. He has more than 50 top 40 hits on the UK and uh, US Billboard Hot 100 with nine number ones in both countries. He sold over 300 million records worldwide. He's one of the most successful solo artists in the history of Billboard's charts. His tribute single to Princess Diana, Candle in the Wind, 1997, sold over 33 million copies worldwide. In 2021, he became the first solo artist in the UK with the became the first solo artist with UK top 10 singles across six decades. Oh wow. He has two Academy Awards, two Golden Globes, five Grammys, five Brits. A Tony, a Lawrence, a Disney Legend Award, the uh, the Kennedy Center uh, Center Honor, 
uh, inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He was knighted by um, Elizabeth II. Okay, yeah. So, again, I knew he was one of the greatest of all time. I knew he was an icon. I just didn't... I, I didn't know exactly for what. But we changed that today. We do... Uh, we finally... I finally get to hear the great Elton John and figure out why he is who he is. And I'm very excited about it. So, we're not going to waste no time. I bored y'all with all my research. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll do the song research afterwards. She packed my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space. Such a timeless flight And I think it's gonna be a long, long time The touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Already in just a minute and 44 seconds into my Elton John journey, I can, I can see why he's in the Songwriting Hall of Fame. Um, uh, it's So, the subject matter, when you see Rocket Man, I don't know why. I, I, and I didn't expect a, a David Bowie situation. I didn't think it was that. But... I don't know. I, I don't. And I I didn't ex expect the concept either. But I don't. I don't know what I was expecting. You just see Rocket Man, but when you just see his lyrics and you see the story that he's portraying and telling through his lyrics, I I just I already can see why he's in the Songwriting Hall of Fame. I I, I see it already in just a minute and forty four seconds. I see it. Good night, Kind of place to raise your kids. In fact, it's cold as hell, and there's no one there to raise them if you did. And all the science. I don't understand It's just my job Five days a week A rocket man A rocket man And I think it's gonna be a long Is that him doing his own backing vocals? 
I guess I could have just found out when I did the song research. But I really love the back, uh, the background vocals. Like I really do. I love the instrumentation too, even though it's very subtle. Like there's nothing like crazy going on instrumentation wise. It's just a vibe. All of this is just a vibe. Like I'm really enjoying the journey that the music, not specifically even just the lyrics, the music as a whole is just kind of taking me on. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time The touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man that think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out the fuse out here alone And I think it's gonna be a long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time And I think it's gonna be a long, long time That was a vibe. That was just a simple vibe. Like, I really, really like that. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. I'm not the man I think it. It's a movie based on this song? No. Oh my gosh. It, it, okay, hold on. Let me read. Let me read. Officially titled Rocket Man, I think it's going to be a long, long time. Okay, we'll stick with Rocket Man. It's a song written by uh, music, okay, songwriter Bernie Toppin. I'm going to find, I'm going to learn more about Bernie. His full name is Bernard John Toppin. Okay. Recognizes one of the most successful partnerships of his kind in history. Wow, okay. So he's kind of like George Martin is for the Beatles. Like, he's not an artist, but his contributions to their music is, like, undeniable. Gotcha. Uh, it was released April 17th, 1972 in the U.S. as the lead single to John's album, Honky Chateau. The song charted in the U.K. on April 22nd rising to number two on the UK charts and number six in the US charts, becoming a major hit single for John. The song was certified on January 21st, 2022. The song was certified double platinum. Okay, by BPI. What about the RIAA? Uh, for sales and streams of over a million digital downloads and streaming equivalent sales. With sales of 3 million in the U.S., the song was certified triple platinum. Gotcha. Rolling Stone listed at number 149 on its 500 greatest songs of all time. The song has been covered by many artists. The song was inspired by Ray Bradbury's short story, The Rocket Man, and the illustrated man about a professional astronaut who, whose work keeps him away from his anguished family for months at a time. It echoes the theme of David Bowie. I don't know why. It did remind me of David. David Bowie's 1969 song, Space Oddity. Toppin has denied that Bowie that the Bowie song was an inspiration, but has acknowledged borrowing from Pearls Before Swine's 1970 Rocket Man written by Tom Rapp. Okay. Does um 
which I'm gonna call it. Does does Bernie not like David Bowie? Like why? I mean, I, I guess he's just saying it wasn't inspired by that. Okay. Uh, the song describes Mars bound uh, astronauts mixed feelings at leaving Earth to do his job. Musically, the song is highly arranged classical rock ballad anchored by piano with atmospheric texture added by synthesizer played on the recording by engineer Dave Henschel and slide guitar. It is also known for being the first song in John's catalog to feature what will become the signature backing vocal combination of his band at the time. Okay, so... It wasn't, okay, it wasn't John, gotcha. It wasn't Elton John. It was D. Murray, Nigel Olsen, and Davey Johnstone. Gotcha. The first stanza of Rocket Man was thought of by Bernie while he was on the motorway heading to his parents' home. He had to repeat it to himself for two hours, which was unfortunate. But in later interviews, he said that it, that since it gave him a hit, it was all worthwhile. <laughs> I like that. I actually, I, I, I don't know what song he was talking about, but Michael Jackson had a similar story about one of the songs on uh, Thriller. He was in his, he was at his house playing something he was playing a game or on one of his uh he was doing michael he was doing something and he said he had to keep singing it to himself until he got it until he got to a tape recorder where he could finally record i think it might have been billy jean if i'm not mistaken um uh, okay they're really well all over the world. Australia, Canada, Germany, Ireland. Double platinum UK, triple platinum US, gold and platinum everywhere else. All right. Even even everybody's I don't know who Kate Bush is, but even her version did really really well. Oh. I really like this, man. Again, I already, in just one reaction, I see why he's in the songwriting hall of fame, and why he's recognized for his songwriting. It like, it is. Um, I don't know. I just I I really enjoyed the perspective and the correlation. Like just just. How the lyrics are put together is very poetic, very poetic. So I one million percent see why he's recognized as a great songwriter. And um, again, I, I know he's he's known for his, his performances. So y'all let me know if I need to react to a live performance. I haven't done that in a long time where I've reacted to a studio version. And then immediately y'all said, now you got to do the live performance. Um I'm trying to think. The last ones I can remember was um was it Leonard Skinner, Freebird? It might have been. But in anyway, um I'm sure Elton John has some phenomenal performances from this song. So if there's any in particular I need to check out, as of course Patreon is the quickest way to get it to me, but I just drop it in the comment section and I'll find it sooner or later. But um yeah, man, I really enjoyed this. This was just a vibe. It was just a real smooth vibe. Like, nothing nothing really special, per se, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to hear more. So, y'all let me know what else from Elton John I, I need to check out, and I definitely will, all right? But as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Elton John, peace.